Hi everyone, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. This video is an experiment. I got a discounted chef's plate box. We ate the meals. You are going to see a video of the ingredients of the chef's plate meals, but not uh, pictures of the completed meals. And then you are going to see what I was able to um, shop for as equivalent ingredients. Like, What would have it cost me if I went to the store, I wasn't looking for deals, I wasn't looking for bargains, I wasn't bulk shopping, I was simply going to the store to buy ingredients to make those specific meals. And we're going to compare the cost, and at the end we are going to see um, whether I've changed my mind on uh, if a chef's plate box is a good deal or not. Here we go, chef's plate, diner burgers with onion jam in the bag. It came with two buns, spring mix, red onion, two potatoes, a few ketchup packs, maple syrup, soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, and breadcrumbs. We're going to get to it. We are making the breaded chicken tenders tonight, and really, when you think about what we're getting for the price that we paid, so one zucchini, two potatoes, some garlic, a bit of mayo, what is this, breadcrumbs? Some breadcrumbs, spice, and 285 grams of chicken tenders, so just over a half a pound for the low, low discounted price of $15 and say 50 cents because for our two chefs plate, we paid $30 and change. Really, when you think what I could have bought for $15 and 50 cents, this seems kind of silly. I can do better. So now that I have sourced the ingredients that I would need to make the two meals that we received in the chef's kit, I'm surprised at how much it actually cost for me to source the ingredients specifically for those meals. The total that you see here is $26.59. So let me break it down. The potatoes were $3.99. Um, you needed two potatoes for each of the meals. So buying this bag of potatoes, you'd have lots left over because you'd only need four out of the entire bag. The hamburgers needed the spring mix for the topping. Uh, it was regular $4.99. There happened to be a 50% off one when I went in. So of course, I grabbed the discounted one. The buns for the hamburgers seemed to be uh, what I thought were gourmet buns, so I went specifically looking for them. These buns were $4.29, but they were also marked down to 50% off, so of course I picked up the discounted package. There's four of them there, and for the recipe, you would only need two. And again, for the spring mix, like this is an entire container of spring mix, you would only need enough to top two burgers. So there's going to be substantial amounts of, of those left over as well. The hamburger that came in the package uh, was around a half of a pound of hamburger because uh, each of the patties worked out to be about a quarter pound patty, so quarter pounders. It was lean ground beef, so I just sourced a small package of lean ground beef. This was $6.34 at Sobeys. This was not on sale. This was the price. I just picked up a package, and I wanted to make sure that I had enough to make the two burgers. This is 384 uh, grams, so this is closer to three quarters of a, a pound. So this would make three burgers instead of two, or if you wanted to go a little smaller than a quarter pounder, um, you could probably get four burgers out of this. And of course you have four buns. The interesting thing about the chicken was that I actually couldn't find chicken tenders for sale anywhere. I went to three different stores just to make sure that I was not overlooking something. Uh, I could find chicken breasts, which easily could be cut into the appropriate size 
uh, for the chicken tenders. I found these chicken breast fillets and I uh, pre-cut and then I found uh, chicken stir fry strips. So these seemed more close or as close as I could get to what actually came in the package. These were $10.00. This is PC Blue Menu from Superstore, so it's a flat rate, $10. And there was probably 15 packages on the shelf. I picked through, and I picked the one that had the largest quantity, 0.372 kgs, because it doesn't matter how much is in the package, this was flat rate cost. They were all $10. So there were lots of them that were in the 200 gram range, so I just picked this one. This is about a third more than what came in the chef's plate. So again, this would make easily make three meals or you could stretch it a little bit further and make four out of it. But this is what I had to pay to get the ingredient to be the equivalent of the chef's plate. I got the red onion at Avery's and it was 66 cents. I got the garlic at Walmart and it was 68 cents and if you remember there was one garlic in each of the chef's plate boxes so we didn't even use the entire garlic in each uh, recipe so there was going to be substantial amount of garlic left over and then both of the recipes had a small amount of breadcrumbs I just went to the bulk barn this is approximately enough for the burger recipe uh, about two tablespoons is what it called for in the burgers and this was 27 cents i didn't want to buy more than that or buy a package we have tons of breadcrumbs at home plus i make my own breadcrumbs very inexpensively so these are the main ingredients you might notice one thing missing i totally forgot about the zucchini totally so you'd have to add that into the total um, keeping in mind that buying a small zucchini might not be super easy right now in nova scotia in the middle of winter it's not uh, a common item each of the recipes came with little packages so little packages of mayo some soy sauce in the um, one recipe most households have those items so i didn't bother sourcing the cost for those so what i have come up with so thirty dollars and 96 cents is what i paid for the two meals and that was discount the regular full price and i had to look this up because i didn't know it was 39 dollars and 96 cents for the two meals they charge six dollars shipping so that totaled $45.96, and my discount was $15, so that brought it down to $30.96. So thinking that $40 for the two meals, I could definitely regular price make the meals cheaper, just sourcing the ingredients here. But this isn't how I shop. So I don't go out looking for a small package of ground beef. I do not go out looking for a small package of chicken breast fillets for a particular recipe. I bulk shop and I shop the sales. So yes, perhaps I might have bought fancy buns, um, but I definitely, it's the meat. The meat is the killer. Um, and of course, it's very difficult in Nova Scotia. It's not like there's lots of places where you can go and just buy two random potatoes. That's not how they're sold here. <laughs> they're sold in bags. Uh, you can buy some random potatoes if you are looking specifically for baking potatoes or if you are looking for sweet potatoes, but those were not the ingredients in the recipes. So my final um, outcome or my final decision on this is... It's not about it, as bad of a deal as what I was initially thinking. If you are looking specifically for those recipes and you would be going to the store specifically to buy only in the ingredients for those recipes, that $30.96 was a, an okay price. If that's what you were doing. If you are using this as a fun time, like this is a date night, great. That's an okay price. If you are using this because um, you don't know how to cook 
and you are following the recipe cards and you are teaching yourself and eventually you are going to expand out of the meal boxes that's a reasonable price if you are extremely extremely busy and the other alternative to doing something like this uh, is picking up out picking up takeout on your way home from work or whatever activities that you have the kids to this was an okay price because it's a heck of a lot cheaper than takeout so I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. I've always loved the meal delivery boxes. I just don't love the price of them, but they definitely have a place. There's a place for them and a reason where it might provide a value. Um, and especially, so these meals that we made were individual serving sizes. Some of the recipes come in there more like casserole style that you might even be able to squeeze depending on how much you eat, um, a, an extra lunch out of it. It might be more than what you can eat yourself. And then, of course, then that increases the value again, the more meals you're getting out of it. Anyways, I thought this was a really interesting exploration and comparison. I'm very curious about what everybody else thinks. I still have one box left available to me at the discounted rate, so saving that $15. And we'll probably wait a couple weeks and then we will enjoy that again, but I might be more thoughtful with the meals that I choose and maybe get something that is not so common, um, something that I make on a regular basis uh, to have more fun with the experience. This one looks to be approximately the size of the one that we got in the chef's plate box. I'm going to guess this is at about a third of a pound. So after everything was all said and done, I know I don't shop that way, but if I did, comparing the price of going out and buying the ingredients alone compared to the convenience and the cost of having um, those chef's plate meal kits shipped directly to me, it's not a bad deal. I certainly would not be doing this on a regular basis or using this for my entire um, week of groceries. That would get very expensive very fast. But I, I have decided that, especially at a discount, that it's not as bad a, of a deal as what I had initially thought. Definitely share your thoughts. Tell me what you think, especially after watching the comparison. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week.